Now, DNA fingerprinting is analogous to fingerprinting leaving your fingerprints. It, it's, it's a very um, uh, hard science, really, when it comes down to it. It's being able to really answer it very clearly what's happened, and that is, is that, that the American Indian is, at least their DNA, comes from Asia. It's an Asian DNA, not an Israelite DNA. We've got a problem that Mormon scholars can pretend like this evidence doesn't exist, uh, which I think is dishonest. Uh, we can confront it and we can challenge it. I don't think that we would be successful in challenging the data. In fact, I don't know of any Mormon scientists that are challenging uh, the findings of geneticists. What we have been doing is wrestling with our own conceptions of the Book of Mormon. That is, most Mormon scholars who've commented on the subject, including myself, uh, agree that um, the American Indians could not possibly be the descendants of the Lamanites. That is, the American Indians as a whole. Uh, that is genetically impossible. It's also archaeologically impossible. It's also historically and linguistically impossible. This DNA evidence had been firmly established and widely published long before the 2002 Winter Olympics focused the world's attention on Utah and, to a certain extent, on the Mormon Church. The foreign press was given a rare opportunity to interview the leader of Utah's dominant religion. Gordon B. Hinckley is the current president of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and is believed by his followers to be a modern-day living prophet. It was in just such an interview that in January 2002, a German reporter asked President Hinckley about the DNA evidence facing his religion. What will be your position when DNA analysis will show that in the history never had been an immigration from Israel to the North, um, to North America? It could be that the scientists will find well, it out. It hasn't happened. That hasn't been determined yet. All I can say is that's speculated. No one really knows that, the answer to that. Not at this point. Well, of course, he's wrong. First of all, he's factually wrong. I mean, it has, it's been fairly well shown. I mean, that's what we're talking about here. And by that time, uh, there were a lot of papers written on it. I, I would find it very incredible to, to um, I guess, be, to know that he wasn't familiar with it. One of the frustrating things for me as a Mormon scholar is the general Mormon approach to problems with the Book of Mormon, and that is, more often than not, to pretend like they don't exist. Uh, I would like to see us confront them honestly, openly, and publicly. Uh, and uh, I find myself frustrated when we pretend uh, like the problems are, are not there.